On this afternoon of June 14th, 2020, I am proud and honored to present the 46th commencement ceremony of the Achievement Academy at Harbor City High School. Historically, our school has been about second chances. I would argue that life is no different. Every one of us has had a time in their lives where we needed redemption from a bad choice, a second, third, fourth, or so chance to prove their worth. I know I have. The students, young adults of the class of 2020 are deserving of nothing less than a lifetime of chances, as I'm sure they'll rise to meet any challenge they face. They have learned in their time at Achievement Academy how to have courage, perseverance, and to work hard despite the challenges they've faced inside and outside of our school walls. Today, we are so proud of them. I would like to take a moment to recognize some very important people and organizations that have helped us in the work of providing support to our students and helping them reach this milestone. First, I would like to thank my administrative team, Ms. Marion Peck and Mr. Dwayne Dowell. They've been amazing assistant principals supporting quality instruction and school culture based on the core competencies of social emotional learning. I would also like to thank the administrative offices at North Avenue for the consistent support of our students and staff, particularly Mr. Roger Shaw, Dr. Renata Tanks, Mr. Anthony Pena, and Mr. Ernest Miles for their consistent and passionate efforts for our students. Typically, during our graduation ceremony in the auditorium, at this point, I would ask my teachers and staff to stand. I have always been impressed by the high level of love and care my staff provides on a daily basis while in school. I have never been more impressed after watching them figure out how to move their instruction into an online platform and continue quality instruction in one week's time. Thank you so much to the Achievement Academy staff. You are the heart and soul of our school. In addition to the internal supports, my thanks would not be complete without acknowledgement of our external partners. The College Bound Foundation, Concentric Educational Solutions, New Vision Youth Services, and the Time Organization have all been critical components of our program and have supported the class of 2020 along the way. And lastly, and likely most importantly, I want to thank all of the parents, guardians, and loved ones that are watching along with your soon-to-be graduate. Your love and support have helped them get this far. Keep that love and support going for as long as you can, and you will see that your graduate can do anything because of it. Thank you, families, for all that you do and all that you have done to be the rock for your child. At this time, I would like to take a moment to honor our valedictorian, Modesta Berindua. Modeste transferred to us from uh, the Academy of Career and College Exploration and finished the top of his class at Achievement Academy. Congratulations, Modeste. We would also like to honor our salutatorian, Lachey Hudson. This year, Lachey was honored by CQ, Fox 45, and the College Bound Foundation as the Scholar of the Week in recognition of her over overcoming obstacles and persevering to academic excellence. Congratulations, Lachey. In addition to the hard work of Modeste and Lachey, the class of 2020 has 63 students that applied to the Baltimore City Community College Mayor Scholars Program. Six were accepted in the Community College of Baltimore County, four accepted into Garrett Community College, three accepted into Allegheny College of Maryland, one accepted into the Maryland State Police, and two will enter the military. Please, if you can, from wherever you are watching, give the class of 2020 a round of applause for their accomplishments. Greetings, graduating class of 2020. I am Assistant Principal Dwayne Dow. On behalf of the Administrative Team of Achievement Academy, Principal Dave Verdi, Assistant Principal Marion Peck, I am honored to give this message. We don't know what tomorrow will bring during this time of COVID-19, virtual high school, or, un or the unrest explosion that's happening around the nation. What we do know is today we are in celebration of your achievements, despite it all. We celebrate your accomplishment and your dedication to completion with this poem by Edgar Guest. The poem is entitled, See It Through. When you're up against a trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Lift your chin and set your shoulders, plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try to dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer. See it through. Black may be the cloud about you, and your futures may seem grim, but don't let your nerve desert you, keeping yourself in fighting trim. If the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do, and running from it will not save you, see it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you're beset, but remember you are facing just what other men and women have met. 
You may fail, but fall still fighting. Don't give up whatever you do. Eyes front, head high, to the finish, see it through. You enter the Achievement Academy to better yourself, exiting to better the world. So go forth and make the world a better place. Congratulations, and thank you for allowing us the privilege of serving you academically and certifying you as members of the Achievement Academy graduating class of 2020. Yesterday is not ours to recover, but tomorrow is ours to win or lose from the moving breakthrough. Greetings Achievement Academy's class of 2020. On behalf of the senior advisory team, I would like to congratulate you on your successful finish this school year. Despite all of the uncertainty that you faced during the pandemic, you forged ahead and made things happen. This is what being resilient is all about. Facing your adversities head on and using the tools you have to make the best of your situation. You have demonstrated that you have what it takes to move into the next phase of your lives. So remember, as you make this huge transition, don't be too hard on yourselves. Trust your instincts and know that you can do whatever you set your mind to. Remember to believe that you can achieve your dreams and that we are on the sidelines cheering you on. And if you run into roadblocks, don't get discouraged. We're your A-team and we are always just a phone call, text, or email away. We love you and wish you the best in all your future endeavors. Hello, my name is Morris, and I immigrated into the United States from Tanzania. It was hard, hard for because I had to learn English and graduate to my new life in Baltimore. I was determined to get my high school diploma. I could not have done this without the help from teacher at Digital Heaven and Achievement Academy at the Heaven City. The teacher pushed me to do my best. I am thankful that all of my hard work paid off. Not only did I earn my high school diploma, I also was accepted into Batman School Community College. And it will be paid through the May School Program. I just want to say to you all students in Batman City, to never give up even when things get off. I did work hard on my own, but Miss Allen, the ESO teach, would always say don't give up. I did it so you can do to modest class of 2020. Congratulations, Achievement Academy High School class of 2020. Anaya S. Adams, Shanika L. Agers, Stephanie Y. Ailman, Latasia M. Bailey. Modest Bernadwa Tajay M. Bladen Imani L. Bromel Michael J. Brooks Jr. Jaquan T. Brown, Dwight M. Coley, Jervon M. Dangerfield, Morgan K. Daniels, Tyron L. Davis, Destiny N. Dawson, Ariel K. DeGross, Lakaya M. Dutton, 
Antonio G. Eberhardt, Keontes J. Epps, Dominique C. Garrett, Deja M. Graves, Kaya T. Griffin, Ever E. Rivera, Naasia D. Hamilton, Monet K. Hayes, Lachey S. Hudson, Jaden K. Jones, Tai M. Jones, Jamal M. Lee, Dwayne A. Layton, Woman S. Martinez Castillo, Tyon R. McCormick, Nolan J. Merrick, Devonier L. Middlebrook, Danielle M. Morris, Jamal M. Pauling, Cynthia P. Perez Pintor, Darius R. Porcher, Yassine W. Powell, Kamari O. Ralston, Nelson A. Ramirez Ventura, Carvel M. Smith, Michaela L. Smith, Natasha Smith, Tiana D. Smith, Jawan Y. Tennessee, Keelan D. Thomas, Gianni C. Thorpe, Anitra A. Walker. For all of today's graduates, this ceremony marks an important milestone for you and your families. This marks the completion of your educational journey with Baltimore City Public Schools and the moment when you officially are moving on to the next phase of your lives. Congratulations. Class slogan. Grab your shades, don't dim our light. We're the class of 2020 and our future is bright. Special thanks. We would like to thank our administrative team, senior advisory team, Achievement Academy staff, parents, and all of our community partners. Now is the time that we have all been waiting years for. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Achievement Academy at Harbor City High School, 
I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. I take pleasure in recommending to you the graduating class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Dr. Tracy Durant, Executive Director of the Office of Equity. Acknowledging the certification and the recommendation by the principal and by the authority vested in me as Executive Director of Equity, I take pleasure in presenting to you the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of presenting to you Dr. Sonia Santelisis, Chief Executive Officer. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal, and the acknowledgement of the Executive Director of Equity, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as Chief Executive Officer of the Baltimore City Public Schools, I take great, great pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2020 for the conferring of high school diplomas. For the tradition of turning the tassel to show that you are a high school graduate, will all of the graduates at this time in your homes turn your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. As we close out today's ceremony, I would like to leave you with a few words. Many of you know I've known for a long time, some we've just met this year, and it has not always been easy. We've loved like family, and at times we've argued like family. But it is my hope that in our time together, you learned that caring, love, kindness, patience, and hard work will take you on the path to your goals and dreams. There's not one graduate watching that is not capable of accomplishing all of their life dreams. Remember to have pride in yourself and your work, but also know when to ask for help. You're part of a community of people that see your value and want to watch you succeed. Measure your successes through the happiness it brings to you. Find your passion, chase it. Lean on your family and friends when you need, and even though you are done with Achievement Academy, we will always be here to help you. We have been through a lot, and through it all, we love you, I love you, I miss you, and you will always have a special place in my heart. Now to my fourth graduating class as principal of Achievement Academy. Congratulations, you are officially Achievement Academy's graduating class of 2020.